So how many girls live in this facility? We have a capacity for 16 girls, and right now our population is at 15. One line, one line please. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. And this is the second building. A lock for every door. Is every door is locked. You must take getting used to. You're always aware of your key to know where your keys are at. We are servicing the 16 and 17 year old girls. It's based on an incentive system on how they do in program and how they um, meet their, tr their treatment goals. What if I wanted a validating comment about being here? If someone's asking how, just anyone in general asking how it feels to be in jail? Yes. I would say, I understand that you already have this stereotypical idea about me, but just because I committed a crime doesn't necessarily mean I'm a bad person. Very good. So why is this a model for Raise the Age? Um, I believe it's a model because it's small and the, the, the Raise the Age model, uh, it will work best with a smaller facility where there is a larger resident to staff ratio. Do most of them leave here or do most of them go on to adult facilities? Most of them actually leave here. They end up going, transitioning back into the communities and living with their families. <laughs> So, it, I mean, they play volleyball, they're yes. baking cookies. I mean, it seems a far cry from some of the experiences that young people have described to me being in adult facilities. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And one of the things to remember, these are kids. They're adolescents, they're growing, they're learning, and this is our chance to have a positive impact on them for the time that we have them. And I think we do a real successful job at that.